VS Code's built-in screencast mode can be useful when you're presenting VS Code to an audience or when you're recording videos of VS Code being used. It will both log key presses and then also highlight places where you click in the editor. Now to enable screencast mode, I just need to open up the command palette with Control shift p or Command shift p and say screencast. And I want the developer toggle screencast mode option here. Now, once screencast mode is enabled, whenever I start typing, so I'll just do one, two, three, you can see that down here, it is actually highlighting all the keys that are being pressed. So no, no matter what I actually type here, you can see that it had um, key combinations as well, like Control-Z uh, to actually, or Command-Z to actually undo things there. So it's just gonna log every key press I make. So here, if I hold down Shift, for example, you can do like Shift-A. So any key press that I make is going to be logged down here so that users can actually see what you're typing and the key combinations you're using. Now, screencast mode will also highlight places where you click in the editor. So here, I'm just going to go and click right here. And you can see I get this nice red icon or this red circle that's going around the cursor here that is highlighting that I've clicked down. So that, again, can help people understand where you're clicking in the editor if you're presenting VS Code to them. Now, there are a few options related to screencast mode that you can use to configure it depending on what you're actually using it for. So to configure that, I'm going to open up the settings with Control, comma or Command, comma on Mac and say screencast. And you can see I have a few options related to screencast mode. I could decrease the font size if I wanted to or increase the font size. So I could go down to like 30, for example. You can see that screencast mode is now a whole lot smaller. I could go and increase the timeout. So if I wanted the uh, letters to stay on the screen a lot longer, I could set this to 2000, for example. And now when I actually type something, you can see the letters are sticking around for a lot longer time. You can even change the mouse color indicator. So there's a bunch of configuration options that are available as well. And you can really tweak screencast mode to fit whatever use case you have in mind. So that's a quick look at VS Code's built-in screencast mode.